Alright guys, welcome uh, to the second video here. On this video, it will be uh, much shorter than the first one. I simply want to go through one more example with you guys, and then uh, you'll be able to do a couple examples on your own. So the one I want to go through with you is uh, the second one here. Okay, SO3 plus H2O yields. So again, we have a composition reaction, um, two or more simple substances combined to form a more complex one. And as you know by now, we have to go to our cheat sheet, reference that, and figure out what type of reaction we have. So keep in mind what your reactants are, and let's head over to our cheat sheet and see if we can figure out what category we're in. Okay, uh, looking at our composition reactions, uh, we know it's not going to fall into the first category, or the second, um, or the third. And uh, again, leaves us with four and five. Now, we don't have a metallic oxide, so we have SO3. Uh, we instead have a non-metallic oxide. So here, again, is another one with the, the star next to it, because we have that metallic oxide being involved. Uh, plus water, of course, plus our H2O. This is uh, one of the easier ones, I think, because we form an acid. So all you need to know is the formula for your seven common acids, and you guys should be in good shape for this. So let's keep in mind that we're going to form an acid and go back to our uh, bottom of page six, uh, bottom of page five now we're on. Okay. When you look at this, you want to figure out uh, well, which, which one of the seven acids am I going to pick? Well, it's always going to de depend on your nonmetal that you have. So your nonmetal that's going to determine the acid is S. It is sulfur. So you guys learned about uh, two acids with sulfur in them, sulfurous and sulfuric. Uh, which one do you pick? Uh, for, for the sake of this class, wh what we're going to do is pick the acid that is the most stable of the two and the more common of the two. So that acid is going to be sulfuric. So if you have, uh, if you have to form an acid um, that has sulfur in it, it's always going to be sulfuric acid. So hopefully we remember the equation for that. Um, and that is H2SO4. Okay, check out if it's balanced or not. Uh, one S on each side. We have four oxygens here on the left, three and one, four on the right, two hydrogens on the left, two hydrogens on the right, it's balanced, so we're done. Okay, so again, Non-metallic oxide plus water gives us an acid. The acid it depends on the non-metal that we have that is not hydrogen or oxygen. So it's going to be either sulfur, nitrogen, phosphorus, um, carbon, and it should be pretty easy to pick out. Okay. Uh, what you guys can do now is actually pause this. You can try to do these other three examples using your cheat sheet. Try to solve them, balance them. And once you are done with that, you can replay, uh, resume the video, and I'll have the answers posted for you, and I'll go over a couple main points for each of them, and then you'll be able to move on to uh, decomposition reactions in the third and final video of this um, set here that we're doing. Okay, so pause it, and when you're ready, resume to check your answers. All right, hopefully you guys did all right with these. Uh, here are the answers. You can check what you have. Um, just a couple of things I want to go over in case you're stuck or didn't get some of these. Uh, for the first one, you have a metal plus a non-metal. So that would be composition reaction number one on your cheat sheet. Metal plus non-metal yields salt. Salt is a, another way of saying ionic compound. What would sodium be as an ion? It would be Na plus one. What would chlorine be as an ion? Well, it would be chloride, Cl, negative 1. Put them together, you get NaCl. Do not forget, chlorine is diatomic, so it must be written as Cl2. And you can see, uh, easily balanced once you write out the formulas. Second one, we did together. That was our non-metallic oxide plus water. That was composition reaction 
5 on our cheat sheet. Uh, the third one, lithium oxide plus water, metallic oxide plus water. Um, composition reaction number 4 on our cheat sheet. You can see you form lithium hydroxide. Here's how you get the formula. Li is plus 1, OH is negative 1, forms LiOH, and then you can see easily balanced again. Put a 2 in front of LiOH, and it is uh, a balanced equation. Final one, silicon plus oxygen. It's another one of those tricky ones where you have your nonmetal plus oxygen. So composition of reaction 3 on our cheat sheet, you form your nonmetallic oxide. So this one, I'm going to put a little star here because it's the one where you need to use your periodic table and assign a positive oxidation state, a positive charge for silicon. So if you go to your periodic table and find silicon, it's in the fourth column. It's right underneath carbon. Since it's in that fourth column, it would have a charge of plus four, a positive oxidation state of four. Uh, of course, oxide is negative two, O negative two. So how would you balance those two out? How do you create your compound? You would need two oxides. Two oxides would give you a charge of uh, negative four, it would balance out your silicon, which is a plus four. So you get SiO2, and of course that would be silicon dioxide when you name that, since it's a non, um, since it's a uh, covalent or a, or a uh, molecular compound. You use your uh, naming rules for covalence, which would give you again silicon dioxide. Okay, guys, that's it for our composition reactions. Uh, and our examples. So uh, the last video you guys need to watch um, is on decomposition reactions and I'll do the same thing. Walk you through a couple examples, show you how to use a cheat sheet for those. Uh, you'll do uh, a handful of examples on your own. Check your answers and that will be it. Uh, when I see you guys in class we'll be able to do a couple problems uh, for practice on our own. Uh, it really allow you guys to uh, get some practice with this so you get it done, uh, you get it done right, and you really understand what you're doing. So um, hopefully you found this beneficial, and uh, I'll see you guys on the third and final video of this set.